Hello. Uh, in this quick hit, uh, we are going to talk about notification workflows, their automation with pipelines. Uh, my name is Tanisława Stasi for short. I joined QuickBase about two years ago with the acquisition of Cloud Pipes, uh, the IPA solution that is now known as Pipelines, and is the integration and workflow automation capability of QuickBase. I started with Cloud Pipes from its very beginning, about six years ago. I totally love the product, the platform, and now as a product owner for Pipelines, I not only see, but could also help uh, develop and realize the potential of it being part of QuickBase. Uh, build up to its power and, and keep unlocking new possibilities, inspire you to experiment and realize your uh, process improvement ideas. Where you're going to learn in this quick hit, hopefully, is that with pipelines, you can ensure timely notification spread, deliver custom and properly routed updates, and reaction prompts. You could extend the capabilities of practically all existing services and enable individuals and teams to track, plan, and execute on informed decisions just by notifying them. You could adapt and modify the workflow as needs change. And all ideas and concepts are pretty much generic and illustrative uh, for the approach chosen. Uh, however, uh, they could be applied to workflows comprising of different key elements, uh, different notification services, different channels. We will be uh, showing a use case with Twilio and MS Teams, uh, but this could be easily implemented with Slack or, or even email. First, uh, we'll quickly talk of the importance of having timely notifications in order to improve efficiency ensure visibility and introduce measures for human controls and decision points. The examples uh, will present a very simple generic opportunity creation and management process in sales, ensuring the team receives uh, timely notifications and detailed on-demand information on deals. The InfoBot will help us here and you'll see what it means and how it works. We will go over the pipeline solution, and then um, again, go through the most important things to consider and remember uh, while building such workflows. Getting timely notifications on critical events, uh, updates or deadlines is not only the first, uh, but arguably the most important step in the process of an adequate uh, response and handling of a situation. With uh, QuickBase and pipelines, we can design and execute later, easily edit and adapt workflows that extend the capabilities of just specialized monitoring, support, sales, or feedback systems. In the examples, uh, we'll focus on a sales process. QuickBase is our uh, system of record that holds uh, the sales opportunity management app and orchestrates uh, the process through pipelines. We will need to parse some text fields so that we could identify different pieces of information we're interested in and further determine based on that uh, where to route and what notifications exactly we should be sending. This technique, uh, this implementation, uh, we call our InfoBot. And finally, notifications are sent over Twilio, uh, SMS notifications, and MS Teams. The first, uh, the first use case uh, will enable our sales representatives to properly plan and further execute their strategy for new opportunities. With a notifications flow, uh, we inject the human factor, uh, making sure that informed decisions are made on times. So, New opportunities come up, but some of them have extra urgency, not because of the estimated value, but because of the projected close date. Um, it's important that this date is uh, accurate and the opportunity is timely worked on. So if such an opportunity is created in our QuickBase app, we want to send SMS notification to the assigned opportunity owner so that they can check the accuracy of the projected close date and plan on actions to, to approach it. 
Either way, uh, we want to make sure that our whole sales team is uh, informed on and enabled aware of all the details um, and the cadence of new opportunities coming so that they properly distinguish, qualify, categorize and prioritize their time and, and channel their efforts while dealing with them. So we inform them uh, on their MS Teams channel. In the next uh, pipeline, the next use case, uh, we will consider and tend to the on-demand information supply. We will build an info bot that whenever opportunity details are requested from a sales rep in the MS Teams channel, Pipelines will search for the data and deliver the information as a reply to the message. This ensures our sales reps are enabled uh, to track progress, deal with milestones, and uh, or just gather insights and analyze the opportunities of interest. The InfoBot is our little side product, a small feature of our own that we will build using the apply regular expression step um, in our text channel. We will establish a standard way to call our bot, a specific set and order of keywords, a command that after uh, it's received, we parse it out with a regex step. We, we derive the keywords that we are interested in. And in this case, this would be the opportunity summary. Uh, then we will find the matching opportunity in our quick base app, derive the data that we need and return to MS Teams as a reply to the original message. What do you need in advance? Quick base up, pretty simple one. Uh, pipelines access, MS Teams channel connected, Twilio account connected, and some regex knowledge <laughs> or a friend uh, that could help you with it. I'm not going in much details here. Uh, it's a simple one that I'm using, uh, but again, if you want to build something more complex, uh, you need more time and knowledge there. So uh, let's dive into the demo. Here is uh, our quick base app, our table with um, all the opportunities that we, um, that we have coming. Here is our MS Teams channel. And here are the pipelines. The first one that is, uh, triggering on a new opportunity created. We have um, our record created in QuickBase. Again, we, we need some fields to later reuse in, in subsequent steps so that we uh, craft our messages properly. We need to know if the forecasted close date of the opportunity is less than 20 days from now. From now. This is what this uh, ginger expression does. And here is where we create our custom SMS to the assigned opportunity owner with some free text plus some uh, fields that are coming as a result, as an output of our trigger of, of the record created in QuickBase. Uh, we devise uh, the, the information, we, we create the, the node that we need. In any case, we are sending a message to our uh, sales reps in their channel in HTML format to make it more readable and pretty. Again, free text, HTML tags and fields uh, from our trigger. Let's give it a try. Track our progress here. So we're waiting for a new opportunity created in our app. Here we have one empower opportunity. It's less than 20 days from now. Let's see what it does when creating it. Our pipeline is started. We send a message over Twilio here. I got it. This is our trigger. And 
again, the message that we sent over in MS Teams. Here it doesn't look pretty. We, we see the tags, but later on, we'll have a, we'll have a look how it looks like in, um, in MS Teams. Here is the body of our SMS that I just got. What's going on in our channel? We have the Empower opportunity just created with the estimated value of forecasted close date assigned to me. This, is, this was our first use case. We are sending crafted SMS message custom to our sales reps assigned to the opportunity. Now, the second one is our Infobot. This special guy that will help us deal with on-demand information in our channel. First, uh, let's have a look here in the channel. We've pinned the message how uh, we call our bot. This is the command that we should use in order uh, to get information about the deal that we are interested in. And here is the pipeline. We are waiting for a new message created in MS Teams in our sales channel, starting with bot so that we filter out all the other uh, chat that could be going on. We apply regular expression from our text channel here. Uh, we are, this is the regex. Yes, I know, I have this SMS not open yet. Uh, here is the way we construct uh, our bot. These are the mandatory words that, that should be present. And here is the variable that our sales reps will insert the actual deal name that they are interested in. And we have it as an output of uh, the execution of this step. Having it, we go through our records in QuickBase and look for records uh, whose summary, opportunity summary starts with this exact name that we have as an output from the previous step. This is pretty much our infobot. We find these records and we reply again to the message in MS Teams, the original message, again in HTML format, uh, providing all the information uh, that could be useful to our sales reps. Let's see how this one works. Okay, let's make sure we memorize the way we should call our um, our bot, let's make sure we have the record already in here. We have empower opportunity for the new one that we just created. And we start with bot. Hopefully, I put it correctly, and here we have it as well in, in from our previous pipeline. And uh, yeah, let's, let's request some information about our Empower opportunity. We have our pipeline triggered by the new message that I've created. We apply the regular expression and derive the name and power opportunity that, uh, that has been sent and requested information for. We found the record in our app and send a reply to the original message in HTML. Here it is. We have the estimated value of status contact and all the information we, we could uh, potentially find useful. 
What did we learn? With pipelines, uh, we can ensure timely information spread, uh, deliver custom and properly routed updates, send over reaction prompts. We could extend the, the capabilities of practically all existing services uh, just by sending notifications about events happening in there. We could build our own bots and all the way we could adapt and modify the workflow as needs change. Really hope this was helpful. Gave you some ideas. Go on and try for yourself. Thank you.